In this quick video, I'll show you how to use the universal decay curve. The question reads, an electric current decays from an initial value of 300 milliamps at an exponential rate of 20% per second. Use the universal decay curve to graphically find the current after seven seconds. Now fortunately, we have the tools to measure exactly what will happen after seven seconds. We know the formula, y is equal to a times e to the power of negative nt. But in case you don't have a calculator or you don't know this formula, I'm going to show you a way on how to use this universal decay curve to find out the amount after seven seconds. And here's how you do it. Let's start off by writing out what they've given us. They've told us that the initial amount A is equal to 300 milliamps. They've also told us that the rate is 20%. In other words, 0 0.2 per second. Also, they've told us the time, which is 7 seconds. The first thing that you have to do to use this universal decay curve is you need to calculate the time constant. And that will be represented by the letter T, big T. And to do that, we take 1 over our rate, which is 0 0.2. And then we're going to take this number and compare it to the time, which will give us the number of time constants. Let me show you what I mean. Let's start off by finding out what 1 over 0 0.2 is equal to. And that is equal to 5. And like I said, I'm going to take this number now and compare it to the time, where I have little t over big T is equal to 7 over 5. And using my calculator, that gives me 1.4. Now that I've found 1.4, I can use this to find the ratio of the final amount to the initial amount, y over a, by finding 1.4 on the x-axis. So that would be around, well, that's 1 and that's 2. And the midway point between the two is precisely here. 1.4, we can bet, would be just less than that. So I'm going to draw a vertical line from here until I reach this curve, because that curve tells us what happens during a decay process. Now, I'm going to find out what this part, this point right here, is equal to. And we can assume that it is equal to approximately 0 0.21. So y over a is equal to 0 0.21. Now that I've found 0 0.21, I can make this equal to e to the power of negative t over big T. y is equal to a, going back to this equation, times e to the power of little t over big T. This is equal to 0 0.21. We know we started off with 300. Now let's find out what will happen after 7 seconds. So 300 times 0.21 gives us around 63. Now let's see how accurate we were compared to if we were to calculate from the start, where we have 300 times e to the power of 0 0.2 times 7. 300 times e to the power of negative 0.2 times 7 gives us 73.9 or approximately 74. So we were off by a lot actually. The real number should be approximately 74. 74 milliamps after 7 seconds. Let's see where the error came from. Perhaps it came from this. Had I shifted this a little bit over, had I had a better skill, this would have been higher, and we could have picked another number that was slightly larger than 0 0.21, let's say 0 0.25, and you would have gotten a number that was closer. And so there you have it. That is how to use the universal decay curve.